it's you press it and it's the bow that does it all. Right. I could press it and and still not sound twice, uh, two sounds as long right. as I put the bow in it. So you get the male voice and female. Voice. Yeah. The lower strings they have a wonderful sound. This. This is a great sound. And my neck vibrates as well. Though. Really? The secret of that the bass sound is it's inside the violin. They call it the bass bar. So it's from here to somewhere. Right. Here. And if you take that off, the sound would be really just thin. Very mute. Right. Very. I don't know. We call this in Eastern Europe. We call this the spirit of the violin. Oh, really? I study classical, really. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what about the sort of gypsy? Um, no, oh, gypsy yeah. side. That's that's the very that's totally different from the classical sort of classical style. Of course. They are like um, uh, people that play in parties, and the way they play it is yeah. this, um, unorthodox play. Yeah, it. it has to do with the um, the times you live. Um, what you go through, uh, it's, it's also politically as well, uh, it's got to do, something to do with politics as well. So, um, as the gypsies had the flamenco, the in America, they had the blues, traditional music that never uh, ends, you know? Yeah. Although nowadays we might not listen no. to this so much, but they're still there. Yes. Mm -hmm. kind of thing, yeah. And the vibration of vibrato. Yeah. Yes. The interpretation, it, it's uh, as you play it, some other person would have played, and you know, that's what makes it even even better. You play it as you feel mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great thing. Mm -hmm. 